In this problem, we are looking for the net electric field in unit vector notation midway between the particles. So the first thing we should do is find that midpoint. We're told that one of the particles is at 6 centimeters, and another one of the particles is at 21 centimeters. So to find the midpoint between them, we add those two values together and divide by 2. And this gives us a position of 13.5 centimeters. The reason why this method works is because you can kind of think of it like you're taking an average of the particles. But since you're taking the average of only two values, that just gives you whatever is halfway between them. So x equals 13.5 centimeters is where the midpoint is. Now to analyze the particles, I've drawn a diagram of that axis. So this is the x-axis pointing to the right, and I've drawn the two particles in red, and I've represented their midpoint with this point right here in blue. The problem tells us that the leftmost particle, the one at 6 centimeters, is negatively charged, and the one at 21 centimeters is positively charged. So I've represented all those things on this simple diagram. And an important thing to remember is that by convention, the electric field points from positive charges to negative charges. So keep that in mind as we write our electric field equations. All right, so now let's start representing our equations. Remember, the problem is asking for the net electric field at this midpoint. So let's begin by writing a formula for the electric field due to particle one. So the electric field due to particle one. Now remember, the electric field due to a point charge is equal to the magnitude of the charge, so Q1, so this is charge 1 and this is charge 2, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught from the Coulomb constant, multiplied by the square of the distance between the point we're analyzing and the point charge. So I'm going to use x to represent the position of the midpoint, x sub 2 to represent the position of charge 2, and x sub 1 to represent the position of charge 1. So the difference then is going to be equal to x minus x1. And don't forget that the thing in parentheses is being squared as per the inverse square law. Now because the electric field is pointing towards the negative charges, that means that the electric field due to the negative charge 1 is going to be pointing to the left. So based on the way we've, we've set up our axis, that means this whole thing must be negative. And since it's along the x-axis, this can be represented with unit vector notation using the i-hat unit vector, since the i-hat corresponds to the x-axis. Now let's start plugging in some values. So remember that the Coulomb constant has a magnitude of 8.99 times 10 to the power of 9, with units of newton meter squared per coulomb squared. The whole thing is negative, and we're multiplying by a charge magnitude of 2 times 10 to the power of negative 7 coulombs. And this is being divided by the distance between x minus x1 squared. So the position of x is 13.5 centimeters, which can be represented in meters as 0.135 meters, minus x1's position, which is given as 6 centimeters, so that would be 0 0.06 meters. This difference is squared, and there's the i-hat unit vector. So putting all of this into a calculator, and we find negative 3.196 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per coulomb. All of this with the i-hat unit vector. Now let's do the exact same process for the electric field at the midpoint due to particle 2. It's going to be the same formula, it's going to, uh, the magnitude of charge 2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times, and again the distance now is going to be x minus x2, so x minus x2 squared with the same i-hat unit vector, because again, we're just along the, the x-axis. And we can see from our diagram that again, this should be negative, because this charge 2 is positive. So the electric field is pointing away 
towards the left direction, in the negative x direction where the midpoint is. So this whole thing is again going to be negative. Now we'll once again plug in our values, and they're the same values as the previous equation we wrote. There's going to be the negative, we're going to include the Coulomb constant of 8.99 times 10 to the power of 9, the same charge magnitude of 2 times 10 to the power of negative 7 coulombs, all divided by the square of 0.135 meters, the midpoint position, minus the 21 centimeter position for particle 2, so that's 0.21 meters, again that's squared with an i hat unit vector, and putting all this into a calculator, we find the exact same magnitude we found before of negative 3.196 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per coulomb in the i hat direction. And so to find the net electric field all we have to do is sum up these two components. The net electric field is equal to the first vector, the electric field from particle 1, plus the electric field vector from particle 2. So that means it's just negative 3.196 times 10 to the power of 5 plus negative 3.196 times 10 to the power of 5, again. And so putting that into a calculator, we find a net electric field of negative 6.39 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per coulomb. And the unit vector does not change, it's still in the i direction. So this is our net electric field. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.